Hey everybody, this is John Stoffer here to bring you another tech tip from StreamingTeacher.com. Today I'll be showing you the steps to do a clean uninstall of Mastercam in Windows 10. A clean uninstall is a process that we use to remove a version of Mastercam entirely from your system. Before we start, I want to let you know that you don't need to do this process if you're updating to a new version, such as moving from 2020 to 2021. This process is only required if you are moving between beta versions, production candidate versions, or going from one of those to the final release. For example, if you've been running beta 4 and are ready to install beta 5 or a production candidate or the final version, these are the steps that you have to take. Our first step is to back up any files that you may wish to save. If you've been saving your part files in your My Mastercam folder, which is the default location, then you're going to want to back this up somewhere else because you might end up getting rid of that folder. Once you've completed that, we're ready to uninstall the current version. To do that, we're going to open up Windows by hitting the Windows key on our keyboard or going down to the start icon on the bottom left hand corner of your screen. And we're going to type in add or remove. When you type that in, you're going to get the first result of add or remove programs. We'll open that up. Once we're in the apps and features, we're going to search the list for Mastercam and find the version that you wish to uninstall. So I found my 2021. This is my beta version, so I'm going to remove it by clicking uninstall. Click uninstall. And now the uninstaller is going to run. It's going to give us a warning here to remove and we'll hit remove. So now this is uninstalling. Once this is finished, we can close the window. Once the uninstaller has finished, you'll get this window saying that it's successfully uninstalled the Mastercam version you're trying to remove. Click Finish down here, and now that program has been removed from the computer. You'll see it's no longer in our list. We can close this. Next, we need to remove a few folders. So to do this, we're going to either click the Windows button on our keyboard or go to the Start icon in the lower left-hand corner. And we're going to type in File Explorer. You don't have to type it all in, it'll pop up. So we'll open this up. And we have our window here, let's maximize. Now we need to go to our C drive. You can also find it through this PC and double click your C drive. We'll go to Program Files. We'll find the version that we're trying to remove, in this case, Mastercam 2021. With this folder selected, I'm going to delete it. You can use the delete key on your keyboard or this delete button up here. You'll probably get this prompt. We'll hit continue. Depending on your system, you may also get a pop-up window asking for a password. After removing the folder that was in the program files, there's two other folders that we can delete if we want to. You don't have to remove these files, it's up to you. Just know that if you're going to remove these files, you would have to go through the migration process again from your previous version of Mastercam. If you weren't having any problems with the last beta or PC version that you were working with, then don't worry about doing this step. However, if you want to remove those folders, I'll show you where they are. So we'll go back to our C drive. We're going to go to Users, find your username, and open that. Go to Documents. Find the My Mastercam folder and delete this folder as well. I won't be doing that step here. Once you delete My Mastercam, we're going to go back to Users, Public, Public Documents, Shared Mastercam, the version you're trying to delete. And this is the other folder that you would delete. Again, these are optional steps for the My Mastercam and Shared Mastercam folders. Once we've deleted the folders that we want to delete, we can close this, and now we need to edit the registry key. To do that, we're going to open the Start menu or hit the Windows key. Type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T, Reg Edit. That brings up the registry editor. Hit Enter. Once we're into the registry editor, we need to delete two keys. The first one is going to be inside of the H key, Current User. So expand this if it's not already expanded. From here, go down to Software and expand this tree. From here, we're going to find the CNC Software Inc. and expand that tree. And then you'll find the version of Mastercam you're looking to uninstall. Once you find it, right click and delete. You'll get a pop up window asking if you're sure. 
click yes and now that's done scroll back to the top and close h key current user next we need to look inside of h key local machine so that's this one here open that go to software open this one find cnc software inc and open this one now you may not find the version that you're trying to remove here and if you don't find it that's okay you don't have to worry about it if you do find it here same process right click that version and click delete and accept it once all that's done you can close the registry editor and you're finished you've now completed a clean uninstall of the mastercam version now you're ready to install the next beta production candidate or final version of the software now that you've done a clean uninstall if you're ready to install the next version make sure to check the link in the description below for our installation video thanks for checking out our tech tip make sure to check out streamingteacher.com for more great content like this